My name is Andrew Fillingham. I'm with Ampere. We're going to talk about just some basics of your EV safety. So HVIL is just a simple loop that goes through all your high voltage component. It's a low voltage loop. It can be a constant voltage. It can be some fancy signal. It's pretty simple. If the loop is broken, you don't turn that component on. Just to give an example, this is our junction box, which does all the high voltage connections. So it connects the battery to the rest of the vehicle to all your accessories. The green kind of circuit, that is what our loop looks like. So when all those connectors are plugged in, this green loop is connected. Our VCU ensures that that connection is there. This way, if you're working on the car and you forgot to plug in your DC to DC, that connector is not exposing high voltage to the person working on it. You'll see oftentimes there's four pins. Two of those little tiny pins is actually your HVAL. So that is just a loop that tells you whether or not that connector is plugged in or not. When you're doing your build and you actually want to implement this in your car, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. For, I would say, simpler builds, so you maybe have just a motor, you have a battery, and wanting to make sure that if that's unplugged or if anything's unplugged, it doesn't turn on, your contactors don't close, you can just power your contactors through the HVIL loop. It's simple, it's effective, it won't work if something's unplugged. But once you have more and more components, you kind of have to add in a controller that monitors this HVIL. You may even have multiple loops going on your car that need to be monitored. Just as a, a kind of high level of what HVIL is, 